Hello everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial explaining Industry 4.0 and the role 5G will play in this. The first industrial revolution was marked by a transition from hand production methods to machines through the use of steam and water power. This is now referred to as Industry 1.0. It started in the 1760s with no electricity yet, coal became the main source of power. The textile industry was the principal driving force for many of the modern manufacturing methodologies we still employ to this day. Industry 2.0, or the second industrial revolution, is also known as the technological revolution. It roughly covered the period between 1870 and 1914. It was made possible with the extensive railroad networks and the telegraph, which allowed for faster transfer of people and ideas. Electricity was now available and allowed for factory electrification and the modern production line. It's also a period of great economic growth with an increase in productivity. However, this caused a surge in unemployment because many workers were replaced by machines and factories. Industry 3.0, or the third industrial revolution, is known as the digital revolution. It is generally said to have started in 1969. This was an interesting year because there was a great deal of optimism and a sense of achievement during this time. Neil Armstrong landed on the moon in 1969. ARPANET, the father of the modern day internet, was also switched on in 1969. In addition to the advancements of computers, the introduction of programmable digital logic circuits created the possibility for intelligent systems able to automate tasks to a new level. Robotics, sensor technology and computers are increasingly able to perform tasks faster, more efficiently and better than humans could ever hope to do so. The world's first programmable logic controller, or PLC, Modicon 084, was also introduced to the market in 1969. Industry 4.0 is basically Industry 3.0, but with the help of smart and transformative technologies. This means by combining intelligence, big data, analytics, etc., tasks can be performed not just faster, but also better. We will look at this in more detail later. Let's look at some basics before proceeding further. The term Industry 4.0, shortened to I40, or simply I4, originated in 2011 from a project in the high-tech strategy of the German government which promotes the computerization of manufacturing. There are four design principles in Industry 4.0. These principles support companies in identifying and implementing 4.0 scenarios. Interconnection is the ability of machines, devices, sensors, and people to connect and communicate with each other via the Internet of Things or the normal Internet, the Internet of People. Information transparency is the ability of Industry 4.0 to provide operators with vast amounts of useful information needed to make appropriate decisions. At the same time, interconnectivity allows operators to collect immense amounts of data information from all points in the manufacturing process, thus aiding functionality and identifying key areas that can benefit from innovation and improvement. We are often asked about the differences between IoT, IOOT and Industry 4.0. Here is a short summary. IoT pertains to consumer and commercial sectors and can include everything from pet trackers to bin monitors to building con temperature control systems to sensor enabled trucks to digital manufacturing control systems. We have an excellent video looking at the difference between M2M, MTC and IoT. Please do check it out. Industrial IoT or IOT pertains to the industrial sector and is an enabling force for Industry 4.0, connecting our devices, our data, our machines and our people to benefit our company and customers and manufacture the best possible product. We also have an introductory video on Industrial IoT. Please check that out. Industry 4.0, as we have been discussing, focuses primarily on the manufacturing sector. It represents the integration of IoT and relevant physical technologies, including analytics, additive manufacturing, robotics, artificial and cognitive intelligence. We also hear the term factory 4.0 or smart factory being used. 
Factory 4.0 leverages technologies and Industry 4.0 components such as non-intrusive sensors, wireless connectivity, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, machine learning and others to affect all phases of manufacturing business from raw materials processing, safety and production to quality, assurance, packaging and distribution. Then there is the term Port 4.0, which is used by many different organisations, including Nokia, Hamburg, Port Authority, etc. Port Operations 4.0 enables automation, predictive maintenance and new business models. The main thing here to remember is that it's based on Industry 4.0. Coming back to Industry 4.0, let's look at the technologies that make it possible. Fundamental to Industry 4.0 are the sensors, devices and computers that are connected and communicate with one another to ultimately make decisions without human involvement. These are referred to as Cyber Physical Systems, CPS, and are integrations of computation, networking and physical processes. On the right hand side, you will see a combination of these Cyber Physical Systems. The Industrial Internet of Things, Cybersecurity, Augmented Reality, Big Data, Automated Robots, 3D Printing, Simulation, System Integration, Cloud Computing, 3D Printing and Smart Sensors. These among others make Industry 4.0 possible and the Smart Factory a reality. As a result of smart machines that keep getting smarter as they get access to more data, Industry 4.0 means our Smart Factories will be more and more efficient and productive and less wasteful. 5G Alliance for Connected Industries and Automation, or 5G ACIA, believe that 5G and Industry 4.0 are a match made in heaven, and 5G will lift Industry 4.0 to the next level. Looking at this other slide by 5G ACIA, you can see that while the mobile technologies and industrial revolutions have happened separately, the 5G factory of the future brings them together to fulfil industry requirements that cannot be fulfilled by either of them alone. We think that the Industry 4.0 revolution will start with 5G, but will not finish with 5G. It will continue beyond 5G as there are many technical challenges that need to be solved and we are not there yet. Here are some references for anyone wishing to explore this topic further. You can download all our presentations from our SlideShare channel. Please see the link in the description. We hope you liked this introductory video on Industry 4.0. As always, please leave your comments, suggestions, questions, etc. in the comment section below. Thank you and goodbye.